Hey buddy, it's me, Crystalman2000, and welcome back to some more Let's Play the Pikmin 3 Challenge uh, Mission Mode. In the last episode, we did the Shaded Garden, and in this episode, we are doing the first remix stage, the Tropical Wilds Remix. Now, I'm doing post commentary because I noticed that the commentary wasn't doing very well for this series, so I decided to go um, post commentary because it's just a lot easier to do it. Um, first off, you want to throw a white up here early, I mean yellow, because then they'll start breaking down that gate extremely quickly. And you also want to throw one red on that, um, Fiery Blowhog, because, um, one red is enough to kill a Fiery Blowhog, because they can't really kill red Pikmin. We're only going to need to actually use one of our bombs. The other one we're going to use quickly right here to blow up this gate. The other bomb we're going to use on an orange ball bulb right over here, but we need to get there first. Now the bridge is still here in the remix stages. Now basically the remix stages, they're pretty much the exact same level, but they have different layouts with different enemies um, and treasure layouts, as well as some bridges. So take for example the bridges in this level, they're separated into two piles instead of being one big pile near the beginning. So I actually used the potion I got near that white Pikmin right here. Reason is, when you use a red potion, it turns all Pikmin into flowers. And we want the flower Pikmin because they're going to help out a lot with the gold piles. And you want to pretty much get them as soon as possible. As well as it helps take out that Wally Wog. And you can also take out the enemy really quick. Um, like, Plasmic Swarth or whatever it's called. So you want to put 15 on that because then it'll take them two trips to get back. I have reds to kill this with, I think, so I have to actually take it a little safe so I don't lose any reds. Um, but actually for the other challenge mode, which is the Battle of the Enemies mode, the remix stages are actually of the levels in the, in the, uh, um, um, what's it called? Campaign? So you have the Tropical Wilds, the, um, Man, I can't think today. Quails, Distant Tundra. I can't even remember the rest of the levels. Okay, um, so basically the best way to work this level out is to work your way from both ends of the map because you get two captains this time compared to the first time. So you want to work your way from both ends. So the um, Alf starts on the top. I have seen roots that do other things, but this is the main one. So that's where you use the other bomb. You could try to we use the other bomb on um, another enemy later on, but it's not really worth saving it for. I want to send a lot of Pikmin on that because that pile takes a long time to do. This is why I said send the yellow Pikmin up here very quickly, because slowly and sure, but surely, by the time you get up here, it'll be very close to being done. It is one of the stronger gates in the game, or in the mission mode at least, so I make a huge mistake right here. I charge him on. About to get called off. I should have just uh, re-swarmed instead of trying to call them back. Um, because of that, I lose red, but it isn't that huge of a deal. I do send seven on that, but at that point, I just sent two more on it. This pile you want, I throw two yellows on it, but I decide to throw all of my whites and yellows on it that I had at the moment because it's an 100 pile. If you couldn't tell, 100 piles are gigantic. So this is why I say throw one red Pikmin because the red Pikmin's done. There's also this weird glitch where the um, Red Pikmin can get thrown off the map or through a wall because of the Fiery Blowhawk. I have no idea why. It's just the way the throwing animation works. So now we pretty much have most of the treasures around the map. All that's left is the big uh, gold piles and which whichever. So now that they finish the bridge, a lot more things can be done a lot more efficiently. You only have to throw about, I think, seven on that. Uh, 
I don't waste all of them immediately because I also want to get this grape thing done quickly. I think I have the perfect, I got the perfect amount of pigment to bring back all the grapes. So. So I have to come back to that pile later, but some of the grape people who finish the grapes will be back there by then, so. I think I call back one of the grape carriers, but it doesn't matter because it's already done. Mm. I come up here to finally get the fiery blowhog extras as well as the 100 pile starts. It's not, I think it was 100 on the original map. So I throw pretty much all of my Pikmin on that. Take a look at my map real quick, and I noticed that the pile over by the orange bulb warp was done. So I take a trip over there to pick up those Pikmin. So I pretty much send the whole- I just kind of wait and hope that all my Pikmin will carry back that gigantic gold pile. So pretty much that's all that's left. So pretty much that gold pile's done soon because all they have to do is make two trips. I don't know why, but I just find it so awesome to see all of those victims carrying the gold. And then once they're done with that pile, I eventually just take a couple Pikmin and throw it on that last gold pile. I think we're like three or four short of getting a perfect, like having the perfect amount carry it back. And right here, I kind of wait because I see that um, I have a lot of Pikmin that are coming back to this. For some reason, they like climbing that beam immediately. I don't know why they placed the gold pile there. They probably should have put it where the... White Pikmin candy pop buds are. Like I said, most of this would have not been possible if we didn't use that um, red potion near the beginning. So just trust me on using that because the pig it saves so much time with the Pikmin carrying back the gold and such. So and the next level, which is the Silver Lake. That's when the levels start to get extremely um, strict when it comes to getting platinums on it. After, I feel like that level's extremely strict compared to the levels after that. But then you have the levels 11 through 15, which I feel are the most difficult of any map in the, in the challenge mode, including Battle of the Enemies. So, yeah. I got a slightly bigger record, but that'll do it for this episode. See you guys next time when we do the Silver Lake Remix.